For a nation of just 4 million people, Croatia have performed incredibly in international football tournaments. One reason for this is the elite football academies within their country. One of these belongs to Dynamo Zagreb. Let's have a look at just some of the players who've progressed through this youth system. First up we have Luka Modric. Still going strong at 37, his career began back in 2003 with Dynamo. Over five seasons he'd play 130 games, scoring 32 goals. He'd eventually leave in 2008. He's now in his 12th full season with Real Madrid, and could potentially add another Champions League to his resume this season. A more recent graduate of their academy, Josco Guardial. As you can see at the age of 18, he was already highly regarded and a formidable defender. He'd spend two seasons in the first team, playing 52 games, before RB Leipzig acquired him for 16 million euros. His fine form continued in the Bundesliga, and led him to being a starter for Croatia at the 2022 World Cup. A slightly more unusual academy product, as Danny Olmo isn't Croatian. He spent seven years in the academy at Barcelona, before joining Dynamo Zagreb's youth system in 2014. He'd spent six years at the club, playing 124 games and scoring 34 goals, before RB Leipzig once again came along, this time paying 29 million euros for his services. He recently hit a hat-trick against Bayern Munich in the German Super Cup final. A familiar face to Arsenal fans, Eduardo. He spent five seasons with Dynamo Zagreb, winning nine trophies while scoring 93 goals in 149 games. That fine form led Arsene Wenger to acquire him for £7.5 million. Unfortunately, he suffered that horrific injury against Birmingham, which destabilised his career a lot. It's a great shame as I think he would have had a lot more to offer the footballing world. Another fine talent to emerge from the Croatian capital, Dejan Lovren. He'd only spend three seasons with Zagreb, but he did win a domestic double. Leon identified his talent early and signed him for initial 8 million euros. His best spell probably came with Liverpool though, where he helped them finally win a Premier League title. He returned to Leon in 2022. Quite incredible just how much talent this club has produced. This video could easily have a part two, so keep your eyes out for that in the future. With the club continuing to produce elite level talent, only a fool would admit Croatia from challenging for the 2026 World Cup. Thanks for watching this video.